The chief executive of Ryanair has described the diversion of his company's flight as a case of state-sponsored hijacking. Its original destination was Vilnius, and Lithuania's prime minister is calling for a radical response. Together with the international partners, we will work to close the airspace of Belarus to international flight. Opposition blogger Raman Pratisevich hasn't been seen since being taken off the plane in Minsk. MiG-29s were used to escort it to the Belarusian capital, and the apparently brazen nature of President Alexander Lukashenko's operation has taken international observers by surprise. I think he's sending a number of messages. The first is that he really now doesn't care anymore uh, what the international community thinks. Second, an unintentional message, if you like, is how insecure he feels. And in addition to that, uh, he's also sending a message that no one is safe from the reach of uh, Belarusian repression. Russia, meanwhile, has praised Belarus for promising to set up an inquiry into the incident. We are in favor of assessing the situation, not in a hurry, but on the basis of all available information, especially since a representative of the Belarusian foreign ministry made a detailed statement and stressed the readiness of the Belarusian authorities to act transparently in this matter. President Lukashenko's government says the flight was diverted because of a bomb threat and that the president himself took control of the operation to ensure its safe landing. Richard Good, Euronews.